Inside the Gates of Heaven, by Odin Hattrick. Chapter 14 The Temple Wall Passing through the gardens of fountains, we come to the gate on the east side of the temple. The wall of this temple appears to be made of multicolored snowflakes, but it is actually a very substantial substance. Being 15 miles thick, there is space within this wall for millions of rooms of all shapes and sizes and descriptions, and they are designed for every purpose necessary to the operation and administration of this city. Within this wall of the most holy place there are rooms called temples of instruction where every necessary subject is taught. Here the children who for any reason die prematurely are taught basic heavenly knowledge. Some of these children join the angelic choirs and provide music for banquets or other occasions where their music is desired. Also in these rooms, the saints are taught the knowledge of heavenly companionship. We plan to sit in and listen to the teacher in a class for children and a class for companions. In this temple wall there are rooms with picture screens where knowledge is presented in a three-dimensional review of important events. Your life is on record here, and that's enough to keep anyone humble. One of the events reviewed is the crucifixion of Jesus. Even in heaven, the story of Jesus is still the sweetest story ever told. Wouldn't you like to see the story of Jesus as it really was? Now before we enter this temple and most holy place of heaven, let me say that it is not just another place to visit. It is very sacred, very hallowed and very different from things understood by most earth beings. If we were to consider the dimensions of existence as being numbered from 1 to 7, heaven's most holy place would be number 7. The presence of God in this temple is the highest state of human existence and it is only for the holy people of God. It is impossible for me to describe the things of this temple in a way that they would be understood by those who have no spiritual perception, because higher spiritual wisdom always appears foolish to those who do not want it. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians 2 14 be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Colossians 1 9 So those who would understand what I am about to describe must be spiritually and heavenly minded. They must seek the God of heaven and love him with all their heart, soul, mind and strength. And be assured that those who truly seek God will find him. Those who find the devil were not seeking God. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Proverbs 8:17. And you shall seek me, and find me, when you search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29:13. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more surely will your heavenly Father give his Holy Spirit to those who continue to ask him? Luke 11:13. The Bible explains that the most holy place of Moses' tabernacle on earth could only be entered once a year, by the high priest, who was ceremoniously prepared and wore special clothing used for no other purpose. The Bible also tells us of a time when two of Aaron's sons offered strange fire to the Lord, that he had not commanded, in the holy place. So the Lord's presence consumed them and they died. Their relatives took the bodies out. Leviticus 10 1 10 Yeah himself said he will be treated as holy by those who come near him. After Nadab and Abihu died, Moses said to Aaron, This is what Yeh spoke saying, I will be sanctified, set apart as holy in them that come near me, and before all the people I will be glorified. Leviticus 10 3 so surely the most holy place should be considered even more sacred. I'm not trying to scare you, only to let you know that heaven's highest pleasures are not given to unsanctified triflers. They are given to those who drink of the Spirit of God as a thirsty soul drinks from a cool mountain spring. They are given to those who breathe in the Spirit of God as they would breathe in the fragrance of flowers on a cool summer evening. As the deer panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. Then shall I come and appear before God. 
Psalm 42 1, 2. The saints in heaven's most holy place also wear clothing that is different from what they wear in any other part of heaven. They themselves are also specially prepared, but they are not limited to one visit per year, because there are chamber mansions located on the inside of the walls of the temple that face into the most holy place. Companion saints spend much time in these chamber homes. From these they can behold the face of God on his throne. Before we partake of the Lord's Supper on earth, we examine ourselves lest we partake without being worthy and perhaps get sick or die. 1 Corinthians 11 23 33 I trust the foregoing admonitions have helped us to examine and prepare ourselves to enter into the Lord's presence in the temple of heaven. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 19 14 In paradise, also called the holy place, we traveled mostly by the slow method. Here in the temple or most holy place, we travel mostly by thought. 